So let's talk about some shit because I've been going for a minute. So last time y'all seen me was last year. It's been a minute since I was off the YouTube scene. I'm back to tell y'all why I stopped making Instagram skits. Why I stopped making Instagram skits. So when I started doing Instagram videos, it was based off something that was out of boredom. I was in the house one day and I was thinking like, I wanna do a video and I'm gonna put it together just for my own entertainment. That was it, I really wasn't gonna share it, but I showed it to a couple people and they thought it was funny. So I put it on Instagram. And when I put it on Instagram, it got, a, it got some positive feedback. Like I was surprised by that because normally, I don't know. I, I, I was just surprised by that. I was just surprised that people liked it. So I put out another one and people liked that one too. So I kept putting out the videos and I got somebody who I looked up to, a person who inspired me to do the videos, AKA Brian Blackass, go follow him. He the funniest boy. But then, you know, at, you know, at certain times, certain things become a wave. And most people, most people hop on that wave. And I noticed that a lot of other people were doing, you know, Instagram skits as well, but I really didn't take anything of it. I didn't think anything of it because, um, you know, I'm all for everybody winning. I'm all for everybody, you know, trying to make something out of, trying to take this and turn it into something else. There's some people who do it just because other people were doing and I felt like some people really didn't want to do videos they were just doing it for, for, for the fuck of it like everybody was just doing it for the fuck of it so at that point I lost interest like I just lost all interest and I felt like if I'm gonna keep busting my ass to make something happen and I'm putting more than normal effort to make people laugh and some people putting out videos that's not even funny I mean, I'm not gonna lie, everybody's taste is different, you know? Some people may have thought my videos was funny, some people may have thought my videos wasn't funny, but it's just a principle, like, there will be videos of just nonsense, <laughs> and people would get, like, a lot of clout off of it, and I'm like, like, well, what the f am I not doing? I mean, it, yeah, it may, be, it may seem like some quitter shit, but in the same sense, it's like, what the f Most of the videos wasn't funny, not on no haters, I'll give anybody credit when it's due, but when I feel like, something that I was passionate about is being kind of taken as a joke. It's not really being taken serious. It's kind of like, what the f am I doing it for? If everybody else is taking it as a joke and well, if everybody doing their shit as a joke and everybody's up in their shit, but I'm busting my ass and I'm trying to make something big out of these videos and my f not even acknowledging it, you know? Like, that's the part that got me. Since I'm not doing Instagram videos no more, I'm gonna put more time into my YouTube videos. I just be, I just be talking about some shit, you know. I'm just be talking shit as usual. Like that's all I got to talk about for today. Let y'all in on a little, on a couple things. It's gonna be going on from here and now on. Uh, follow me on Twitter at underscore mxrk. Follow me on Instagram at underscore period mxrk. Follow me on. Snapchat, I need to change my snap, I need to change my Snapchat name. That shit is dumb. I don't even know why I had it, had it as that. But anyways, follow me on Snapchat. I really don't f the name like that. I was like what I made this account like three years ago. Uh metal mouth underscore mark. And yeah, until next time. I'm out. Peace.